For the transport of dangerous goods by sea, one of the most common questions we get asked is whose responsibility is it to sign the packing certificate? The packing certificate usually forms part of the dangerous goods note required for any quantity of dangerous goods shipped by sea, or it can be a separate document. The person signing the packing certificate confirms that all the segregation provisions have been complied with and that all the packages were in a fit and proper condition when they were loaded and that the vehicle or container has been appropriately marked and placarded for the sea journey. The packing certificate itself includes a legal declaration and there's often a lot of confusion between different parties as to whose responsibility it is to sign it. If the consigner or the loader of a vehicle or container destined for a sea journey, which is carrying dangerous goods, is in charge of the whole operation of loading, so they're loading all of their goods onto the vehicle or the, into the container, and no other consigner is loading dangerous goods after that, it is your responsibility as the consigner or as the loader to sign the packing certificate. In many cases, the full load may be made up of lots of smaller consignments from different shippers. This is a process known as groupage and often arranged by freight forwarders. In this situation, it's the party that has organised the whole transport operation that is responsible for signing at least one of the packing certificates. If you are one of those individual shippers and you're asked to sign the packing certificate, that's absolutely fine, but you must be aware that in doing so, you are taking responsibility for the whole load, the other consigners' goods, as well as your own. We therefore recommend that it should be the organiser of the groupage load that arranges for a separate packing certificate to be provided covering the whole load. This advice is the same as that issued by the Maritime and Coast Guard Agency and a link below should take you to the advice page of gov.uk with that information on. We provide on-site awareness training in the provisions of the IMDG code and of ADR. We also provide these as online courses and there are links below in the comments section if you wish to have a look into that in more detail. We hope you found this video useful. Please follow us for the latest updates in dangerous goods provisions.